Hi everyone, welcome to week 6 of the iOS Programming for Sport course. This week we're going to look at gestures and another type of control called a picker. So we're going to start with gestures first and I've just created a single view application in Xcode. So you can see just a single view controller here with a .h, .m and a .zib and here's our view here. So uh, to start with uh, I'm going to put a label onto our view and this will simply display the text uh, from the given gesture. So make it a little bit wider here and center the text and we'll make it bold, system bold. And as usual we need an outlet for our label so control, click, drag, release and we will call it gesture label and connect it up okay so when our gesture is detected we will place text into this label saying X type of gesture has been uh, detected so if you look down here into the right hand side, bottom right hand side, um, in the latest version of Xcode we now have these visual ways of adding gesture recognizers and as you can see it tells us the type of gesture it will recognize. So a recognizer to identify taps, pinches, rotations, swipes, pans and longer types of press. So when you push your finger onto the view and hold it there for a given period of time. So we're going to start first with a swipe gesture. And adding a swipe gesture is very simple. We just click, drag on top of our view, and then release. And you can see here our swipe gesture recognizer has been added. If we click on that, and then look up in the top right hand corner, uh, there are some attributes that we can change and the primary one is the direction of the swipe and we have four choices up down left or right so to change the direction of the recognizer we just choose one of these four options so at the moment we'll we'll keep it as a right swipe gesture recognizer and here in this option we can determine the number of fingers that are on the screen so this option of one would mean a single finger swipe to the right. If we wanted to detect a swipe to the right where two fingers were on the screen, we could change that to two. Three fingers on the screen, we change it to three. So you can create some quite sophisticated types of gestures. We're just going to leave it at one for now, and by default, enabled um, is checked. Okay. Now, the actual recognition of the gesture is taken care of us, taken care for us by the system. So all we've had to do is add the gesture recognizer, configure a couple of options, and the gesture will be recognized for us. But of course, when we detect a gesture, uh, we want something to be done, okay, S um, an action in other words. So from our gesture recognizer, we simply have to create an action. And to do that, like we've done with our um, labels and buttons, uh, we can do we can connect up those objects to our code uh, in exactly the same way. So all we do is control click from our gesture recognizer, control click over to the .h file and release. And we want an action because we want to do something after the gesture has been detected. So we choose action, and uh, for this first one, we're detecting a right swipe. So let's just call it right swipe as our action, and then connect it. So we've now got, got an IB action called right swipe. So let's hop on over to the .m file. And as you can see, our action IB action has been added down here. And all we want to do after the right swipe has been detected 
is simply to add some text to our label. So we know how to do that now. Self dot gesture label dot text equals at right swipe detected. Okay, and if we run that, when we swipe to the right, we now get right swipe detected. Okay, so what I'll do now is I'll simply add another gesture recognizer that will allow us to delete the text in our label. So if I add a second swipe gesture recognizer by doing exactly the same thing, dragging it over our view, we've now got a second one here. Okay. Now if you have a lot of these enabled, so that uh, it can be tricky to tell them apart. So if you look at the original method here, there's a little button there, a little circle. If you hover over that circle, it will identify which of your gesture recognizers is associated with this action. So it's an easy way to identify each gesture recognizer. So we'll go back to the dot H. Control, click, and drag. Action. And let's call this one left swipe connect okay so with this selected we need to change this to left with a single finger go back to the dot M so left swipe and this time we're going to say self dot gesture label dot text equals now we want to just simply clear it like that run that okay so now when we swipe to the right right swipe detected swipe to the left clears it out right swipe left swipe so let's add another one and this time this time we will choose Go back to the dot H, control, click, drag, action, up swipe. And while we're at it, let's add another one. Control, click, drag, action, down swipe, down. So that one's up and that one's down. So from the up swipe, self dot gesture label dot text equals up swipe detected down swipe self dot gesture label text equals at down swipe detected and we have forgotten the inverted commas there okay we run that so now we've got right swipe up swipe, down swipe, and clear. Right, up, down, and clear. So that's the uh, swipes with just a single finger. Now another common gesture 
used in iOS apps is the tap gesture. Single tap, double tap, and also a long tap, which is this long press one. So we'll add a tap gesture recognizer. Okay, and you can see that the icon is slightly different here. So if we click on that and look at the options that we've got up in the top right hand corner. So we've got two options here, taps and touches. So what's the difference? Well, touches uh, means the number of fingers. Okay, so this would represent one finger with a single tap. So if we wanted to do a double tap with a single finger, we simply have to change that to two. If we wanted to do a double tap using two fingers, we would change the touches to two. But let's just start by having a double tap. So it's a single finger with two taps. Okay. So go back to our dot H, control, click, drag, action, and we'll call this double tap. Connect it up. Go back to our dot M self dot gesture label dot text equals double tap detected and run that and now double tap we get double tap detected double tap Now without creating a new method, what I'm going to do is simply change this to three and we'll run it again and that will of course be a triple tap. So a double tap, nothing happens, one, two, three, and we, we now get our uh, three taps detected. Okay, so it's as easy as that to change from a double tap to a triple tap, we'll, a triple tap. We'll change it back to two now. So that's uh, a double tap. What we might do now is add another one, and this time we will have two taps with two fingers. Okay. And sorry, go back to the dot H. Create an action. And let's call it actually let's call it a two finger double tap. And self dot gesture label dot text equals two finger double tap detected. Run that. So how do we do two fingers on the iPhone simulator? Well, all we need to do is hold down the Alt key and as you do that you can see that we get these two circles appear. Okay, So if we hold down the Alt key and then double tap we get our two finger double tap detected. Normal double tap, double tap detected. Alt key, double tap, two finger double tap detected. So nice and easy.